Hello and welcome. I'm the Candyman and you're watching updates on State of Decay 2. That's right, we're back with more updates and today we're talking about update 29, Fields of View. So in today's video we're going to cover the three main features from the patch notes. The first of which we'll talk about is a graphical overhaul to the original three maps. So we're talking about Drucker County, Cascade Hills, and Meager Valley all receiving a facelift in this update. So what they did was, first of all, they added some scenic elements to the horizons of each and every map. So now when you look off into the distance, there's a couple new things to look at. Uh, next, they upgraded the foliage, um, all the flora, um, so trees, plants, etc. Uh, also rocks. Um, they upgraded those and updated them. Um, they also made the terrain look a little bit more natural. And then finally, they made some tweaks to the brightness um, of each and every map during nighttime and just in general. So that way, uh, as they describe it, each map will have their own kind of unique look and feel when it comes to brightness. The next highlight is the fact that heavy weapons do a lot more damage to the environment now. So essentially with this update, you can now destroy fences, signposts, windows, basically anything that you could destroy with your vehicles, you can now destroy with heavy weapons. Now the last big feature of this update is that they added an FOV slider. So now you'll be able to set your field of view anywhere from 40 to 100 degrees, with 70 being the default value. Now besides the three major changes of update 29, they also made some quality of life improvements. So a lot of minor stuff, um, such as fixing a hole in the ground uh, near Jurassic Junction in Trumbull Valley. Um, and then they also fixed an issue that happened to me probably once every playthrough, if not more than once. Um, and it was super frustrating where essentially your character would get stuck um, after briefly sprinting. Um, and that definitely cost me a couple times, but I'm glad that they fixed that. Um, and then they also added advanced toolkits into the, um, the loot pool uh, for play cards on lethal zone difficulty. So essentially now when you're um, you know, uh, scavenging the play cart husks, uh, you'll be able to occasionally see some advanced toolkits. All right, so we will go ahead and wrap up the video here. So if you like the video, do me a favor. Hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. Every bit helps. As always, spread the love, spread the positivity, and I'll catch you in the next one.